all right before we start loading to do's what i want to do is i want to save uh the to do's first because i want you guys to see how a to do will look and how we want to save it and what are we going to do with the disk right so for loading to do's all i'm going to say is that loaded to do's true so this is going to be super simple we're just going to refresh and this is going to go to true so the app is going to stop being loading and it's going to show me the list perfect all right now how do we add a to do well here on the text input right i'm going to create a new function and i'm going to call this function i'm going to call this function uh sorry not create a function i'm going to say on and editing all right on and editing or not it's better on submit on submit editing this means when they tap the key done all right on submit when this is done i want to execute a function that i'm going to call add to do sorry like this add to do so here i'll do add to do all right now this function what it's going to do is that it's going to first of all we need to get the to do the new to do from the state right and we need to check and we need to say if the new to do is not empty sorry if the new to do is not empty then we need to do something all right e else we do nothing so just if the new to do is not empty we're going to do something inside because we here we're just checking if is it is it empty or not empty so the first thing i want to do is i want to set the state right and i want to flush it i want to say new, new to do equals nothing so this is my first step all right i want to delete what it's on the box so i will say here and i click uh let's refresh hmm. so again i come here uh, i am typing i click return oh can't find variable new to do what is the name new to do need to do from the state oh the uppercase the there we go so now i come here and i click accept ah for fuck's sake refresh all right so it is working pa, 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 pa. and i click return boom and it's making it empty all right this is great now what i want to do is that i want to create a new to do right perfect now what i could do will be to create an array and this will be easy because i'll just push something right but i want to make it a little bit more complex here what i want to do is that i want to model my to do in the following way i want my to do to be like this to do i want him to be like this um instead of to do i want him to be like an id like this all right and inside i want him to have the same id right also i want him to have the text which is i don't know buy something and i also wanted to have a is completed false because it's not completed by default and date when it was created so this is how i want to model my to do object all right this is what i want to do uh, as you can see it's not only an array i'm not going to just push it it's going to be an object that has the key of the id and that what why why is that why is that this is because i want to have many to do's so i'm going to have a const to do's right this is my state this is what i want my state to be i want to have this right this is my goal i want to have this all right this is one to do different to do same id this is what I want to do. And you will say, why do you want to do that, Nicholas? Instead, you could use, like, instead of this, you can just have an array, right? Like this. You can just do this, man. And that's true. I could just have an array. The problem is that we are going to be changing to do's a lot. We're going to delete them. We're going to complete them. And we are going to update them. And it's easier in the... Um, object way to find a to do so for example if i have this right and you ask me to delete this to do all i have to do is to say delete to do's 
this one. Well, all I have to say is delete to do's like this. That's all I have to do. If you ask me, Nicolas, delete a to do, but this is not an object, but this is an array, it's a little bit more complex. And this is what I don't want. I want something easier for you guys. So if I do this, I will have to make a function here and I'll have to say to do's function, uh, sorry, I'll have to do maybe a filter. I will say to do's filter to do, and then I'll have to return something and it's more of a pain in the ass. So this one is easier, all right? That's what I want to model my state like that. Perfect. Okay, so going back to our subject. First, we empty the uh, text box, that's all right, and now we're gonna change the state again, this set state. But we're not gonna change the state like just putting one more, um, just adding the new to do. We need to set the state by creating the object that I want to create, the one I just told you about. The second thing that we need to do is that we need to put the um, to do at the end of the list. We cannot just replace the whole list. We need to add the to do, all right? It's not like we're going to change the to do, um, the to do's list uh, with the new to do. No, what we need to do is that we say to do's previous state plus to do's, sorry, previous state to do's plus the new to do. That is what we want to do, all right? We don't want to do this. No, we want to take the previous state plus the new to do that we want to do. Wow, there's a lot of do's. The new to do that we want to do. All right, so to do this, to fucking hell, to do this, I will say previous state, all right? And I'm gonna create the first thing, a new to do object. How, how long? All right, we're good. But before that, I want to create an ID. How do we create this? Super simple, yarn add, sorry, npm because X was a little bit stupid. npm install uuid, all right, and save. Man, please be fast. Thing is that I like to use yarn, but I don't I don't know why sometimes yarn makes me makes some errors on Expo and Expo starts showing some screens and bullshit, all right? I don't know why. Let's go, man. Why is it removing stuff? What the hell? Refresh. Why did it remove everything? NPM install. That is weird, dude. I just have only this, it deleted everything. What? NPM install again? Motherfuckers. So I just removed everything and now it's gonna install it again. Fuck me. Okay, I have to wait because I don't know why NPM did that shit to me. But in the meantime, fucking hell, I will do import here, UUID version one from uh, UUID version one, like this, all right? This is not gonna work yet because NPM just destroyed my whole shit, but it will be like that, all right? It will be UUID version one. So I'm gonna continue. There is an error here, but I'm gonna continue this video. Now, um, I'm gonna create a new, the ID will be this ID, all right? And the new to-do object is going to have the ID for the name. This is how you assign a variable as a name, all right? If you want to do this, Hello, that's how you do it. But if you have a variable, that's how you do it, all right? ID, like this, perfect. Now, ID equals ID, that is the object I want to accomplish, is completed, will be false by default. The text will be the new to do from the state, from previous state, Sorry, let's not delete this here because I'm trying to access new to do here, right? New to do, but I was deleting it here. So I'm gonna do this at the end. Boom, all right. So ID, ID is completed, is false. The text is the new to do that is right now on the state. And last but not least, created at date that now. Let's refresh. Wow, 
weird stuff. I'm gonna save. Uh, I don't know what happened here. I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna restart my project because my computer is an asshole. So I'll be right back. All right, and we are back in business. I don't know what the fuck happened. All right. So I created a new to-do object here. I created the ID as a key. I also put also under another ID just to be sure. Is completed false. New to do. Uh, the text is the new to do that is on the state. So from the text box and created at date that now. This means when it's created. Now I'm going to create a new object called new state. And here I'm going to pass the previous state, the previous state, I don't care. And here I will say to do's. All right. And to do's is an object. So I'm going to say previous state. So all the other to do's, I'm not going to modify anything, all the other ones, plus the new one I have. All right. So the new state is whatever we had before, plus to do's, whatever the to do's were before, plus the new object expanded. If I do this, what I'm going to end up with is something like this. The ID and inside something else text new to do I don't want this I want to end up with something like this all right good stuff and new to do object perfect so now I'm going to my state I am going to also flush the state like before so new to do I'm going to flush it what I was doing before but I'm gonna flush it here nice so everything else plus the new to-do that is now empty and the to-do object with the new object. Perfect. And now I will have to return it. Return. New state expanded. All right. Return new state. That's it. That's all it is. Now I'm going to come here and I'm going to uh, let's refresh and let's see how it goes. How much time? 12 minutes, fucking hell. All right, so I come here, la, 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 and I click accept, boom. Nothing happened. I mean, something happened. We didn't save it anywhere, but as you can see, the new to-do is out of the way, so it is working, but we are not we are not saving it on the local storage, and also we are not showing it here. That's what we're going to do on the next video. See you there. Bye-bye.